a unique and important event because the citizens have a chance to let their voice be heard and they have a chance to speak about uh, important topics such as climate change, environment and health. Bah, je pense que c'est exceptionnel ce, cet événement. C'est pour la première fois que les citoyens ont l'occasion de participer à ce genre de manifestation, de pouvoir exprimer leur voix, de donner leurs idées et peut-être d'être entendus. There are young people, old people, people from 28 countries and I feel that everybody can feel represented in here and it is a great possibility to, to us to represent our ideas. I think that we are uh, envisioning the future of democracy and uh, Europe needs really to connect with uh, its citizens. I think that it means that slowly over time like the citizens opinions like individual opinions and collective opinions will actually have more influence rather than just being representative. Deliberative democracy uh, combined with representative uh, democracy can push politicians and, and the representatives of, of the people to form more uh, bold decisions and reforms than we did in the past. We wanted to do the panels outside of Brussels. We did not have the Brussels uh, bubble effect. We wanted to go out and to be where the people are. So we chose Natlin naturally because this is a college of Europe, which is one of the learning places about Europe. We chose it because um, we wanted to have places which had a degree of symbolism attached to them. We wanted to make sure that we had diverse venues and Natalin being the, uh, the, the campus of the College of Europe, uh, of course, uh, provides uh, an, an environment and, and facilities which give us a lot of the things that we are looking for in the, in the venue. We provide training and promote research on topical European issues, also those which are related to the topics that are currently being discussed in the framework of Panel 3, such as climate and energy transition, climate and energy policies of the European Union or global climate governance. L'accueil au Collège de l'Europe d'Inglis n'était pas simplement un accueil symbolique, ni un accueil euh, on va dire organisationnel et pratique, c'est aussi un accueil qui a été une contribution très active puisque nous avons eu le renfort pour, le, pour cette, ce processus de 15 étudiants du collège qui ont en fait joué le rôle de preneurs de notes et donc ont été extrêmement utiles pour venir compléter nos équipes dans la facilitation des échanges avec les citoyens. Over 120 citizens are here, plus 50 citizens which are connected. So the logistics is also considerable and again, the college was able to help us uh, make this possible. We are participating in the conference as, an, as note takers. We are writing down everything that's being said that is going to be important for the plenary session uh, in order to take action according to what citizens have discussed during these days in, at the College of Europe in Natalin. My function is to receive the question from the working groups and then translate it to the relevant experts which will provide um, clear answers for the working groups. Regarding the measures of COVID, we are taking all the necessary measures to ensure that all the COVID rules are respected, certificates of COVID are required prior entrance and there's daily testing going on to ensure that all the participants and staff are COVID free. Avoir pu participer à la conférence sur le futur de l'Europe grâce au Collège d'Europe Anatoline qui a reçu cette conférence dans son campus était vraiment une, une opportunité fantastique. En tant qu'élève au Collège, j'ai pu participer et travailler avec un groupe de recherche sur le développement durable afin d'émettre de, des propositions pour les institutions européennes. C'était une très bonne expérience et j'ai gagné de nombreuses compétences, notamment de pouvoir parler dans 23 différentes langues et de travailler avec des gens de différents milieux et de différents horizons et pays d'origine. At the beginning of the conference, I was very pessimistic, but now I guess I'm more positive about the future because we are being, being listened to and maybe we could impact something in the future. So I'm really happy to be here. It's a great opportunity to see how deliberative processes take place, how we can actually work together with people from different countries speaking different languages we can see that this is actually possible so it's a landmark event as it will allow for uh, future uh, events taking place because we, we, we are witnessing how this is possible.